Attention Shh. for grown women only. Mark your calendars, lady. Sunday, March 13th, 2 p.m. Eastern. That's Sunday, March 13th, 2 p.m. Eastern. The Secret Money in Your Womb, Part 4. We're going to be talking about the treasure trove embodiment. We as divine feminine women, we're able to magnetize resources for our lives and those that are within our magnetic field using our irresistible divine feminine essence. Y'all know I'm getting ready to drop the jewels, ladies. You don't want to miss it. And we're going to have a very yummy dress code. And for the brothers, for that lovely lady in your life, make sure she's there. Even though it's for women only, you can sponsor the lovely lady in your life. You'll thank me later. Go to unpurposewithvicky.com. That's unpurposewithvicky.com. The link is below. I can't wait to see you there. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Ongil Zalalem bringing you this report. Today's report is about the US sanctioning a Belgian gold dealer that has been dealing allegedly um, in DRC from 2016 and allegedly he has been involved in smuggling over hundreds of millions of dollars. Let me show you this clip, we'll come back and discuss. The United States has imposed sanctions on the Belgian businessman Alain Gutz and a network of companies linked to him. Now, Alain and the companies are allegedly involved, as far as the U.S. Treasury Department is concerned, in illegal gold exports valued at hundreds of millions a year in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Now, Alain claims that his inclusion in the sanctions list, quote, seems to be based on misinformation, end of quote. He says he has not been to the Democratic Republic of Congo in more than 20 years, and he's not kept any active contacts either within Congo. Now, the United States, however, says a network of armed groups, smugglers and companies generate illicit revenue from the gold industry through forced labor, smuggling and other means. They add that Alan's network sources gold not just from the DRC, but also from Kenya, South Sudan and Tanzania. This guy and people like him are contributing to the instability in DRC. People are suffering because they were blessed with natural resources, because these wolves see the natural resources and get involved in smuggling those natural resources. They don't want to pay tax, they don't want to do it the right way, so they pay armed forces, they pay people that they know they'll work with them and they don't mind stabbing their own brothers and sisters. And what do they do? They exploit the country, they steal from the country and leave the people worse than they find them. This is the kind of people and companies that need to pay the price for what they're doing to African countries. I am Ungil Zalal, I'm bringing you this report. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the African Diaspora News Channel app in the Google Play and Apple App Store.